YouTube, it's Max Amir Tech Talk back with a, another video. And the secret word for today is consistency. Uh, trying to keep it at one video a week, and so far, so good. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, the regular one, in silver. Um, I'll throw a link in the description, why not? Price on this on Amazon at the time of purchase was about 640 bucks on sale for the 256 gigabyte model. Now, something I think I failed to mention when I did a review of the S8 Ultra, the Tab S8 Ultra, was that this is really one of the only flagship products in Samsung's mobile line that still has an SD card slot. This little part right here that looks like a SIM card tray, but it's actually a SD card slot. So why don't we just uh, go ahead and flip this over. Look at the package contents. Not much to see here anymore. Really, honestly, it's not much of an unboxing experience anymore. So, we just get a cable and a device, that's it. Oh, and, and a pen. I should mention that, you also get a pen. Yes, pen. Appreciably thin. Wow, this is really thin. Uh, oh, that's why it was tucked under. <laughs> All right, let's set that off to the side for a moment. So we have our S Pen. We have some books and paperwork and your cable. That's important. What else did I give you? Tray ejector tool for your SIM card slot. How kind of them. <laughs> you can't detect the sarcasm in my tone, I apologize. Let's go ahead and seal the box back up and we'll move on. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this uh, differs from the S8 Plus and the S8 Ultra additionally in that it has its fingerprint scanner in the power button here rather than embedded into the display as an under screen fingerprint scanner. It also gets the facial, facial recognition. And uh, yeah, yep, yeah. so facial recognition. Um, not as secure as Face ID, because Face ID uses dot projection to develop a 3D map of your face, but this uses your picture. And that's another differentiator. So, yeah, that's some additional stuff I might have forgot to mention, and uh, back to the video. As I was saying, it's frankly ridiculous. You don't get more than just the damn cable anymore. I'm sorry, I, I can't, I cannot defend that from any of these companies that said, hey, let's remove the damn charge brick from the box. Why, you ask? Well, a customer might already have this. They don't need another one. Or perhaps, and follow me here. That's right, dog. It's ridiculous. Perhaps they are just money grabbing from their customers. Just like Apple did when they removed their charge bricks, just like every other company that followed. All right, enough about that. Let's focus on the product in my hand. Anytime you get a tablet or phone from Samsung, they do protect the edges of the device when you pull it out with this thin plastic strip and it's a pain in the ass to get off. It's not easy. If you don't have nails, God help you. Now, you can watch me struggle at this for a moment, just like episodes of Family Guy where Peter's struggling for an unusually long amount of time or grabbing his knee because he hit his knee. There we go. 
Oh, and did I mention they partition those strips? So you gotta do this several times to get them all off. Look, I'm not cutting this so y'all can suffer through this with me. buttons on the top here next to the volume rockers there's our USB-C port which it's not centered why <laughs> why is it not centered Samsung come on uh, there's a quad speaker array which is nice uh, <laughs> there's your microphone and there's another microphone spot Uh, camera's up here. It's not like the uh, Tab S8 Ultra where you have a little notch there. Let's just power the thing on. How about that? There's juice in there. Excellent. Fan freaking tastic. I can already tell you, by the way, um, this size is a lot easier to manage than the S8 Ultra. A lot. So much easier. Tab S8 Ultra, it's this is better to hold. I'm just gonna say that. This, what I am, the S8 is fine. Now, the one of the differentiators between this and its siblings, the uh, S8 Plus and the S8 Ultra, is that this has an LCD panel. Um, it's a good LCD panel. Uh, yep, I'm agreeing to forfeit all of my data over to here. Skip, skip, I just want to not copy information, I just want to get to the, give me, give me to the freaking desktop. Ah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I am sure. I am sure. If you're still with me on this, by the way, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for uh, deal, you know, dealing with my nonsense. Okay, we are in. So, just like any other Samsung tablet, this is a micro version of the Tab S8 Plus and the Ultra. An 11 inch tablet. It, this is a nice size. It's got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It's got 256 gigs of storage, 8 gigs of RAM. Here's your, basically your notches if you were to use the keyboard case. I did not pick that up. I picked up a Spigen um, Tough Armor. Picked up this thing. This Rugged Armor Pro. All right. Got uh, the stand and everything. Okay. So you do get a set of cameras, single and you know, regular and ultra wide, and goes up to eight times zoom. I don't know how useful that is, but let's go ahead and uh, take a picture there. Why not? Take a picture of some pens. You know, for a cropped in zoom, that's not terrible. But a regular. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly good detail for a tablet camera. Wow. Okay. All right. So I'll get to the short of this. I, I think, you know, as an alternative to an iPad, this is a fine choice. However, um, if you are invested in Apple's ecosystem, you're probably not going to switch. I, to be honest with you, it's, you're not, probably not going to switch to this. However, if you are somebody that doesn't care, that you are invested in Samsung's ecosystem or all your stuff's on Google Play Store or whatever, this is 
one of the only options here in the United States, or it's for a flagship tablet line, that's Android. Um, maybe Lenovo, um, but Samsung's it. It's, it's a premium tablet, um, all metal design. I just, there really are no other great options for a flagship Android tablet. You get the same five years that the phones get as in terms of software support. So you get the OS updates, the security updates, all that. Um, I believe this is due to get Android 12 L if it's not already available. So who do I think this is for? Um, you know, if you're a student, somebody that just needs a basic computing unit, perfect. And Dex, I almost forgot Dex. Let me see, where's Dex? There's Dex. So Dex, if you don't know, is a desktop mode for their tablets. See, see how that changes? And it basically creates a windowed environment. See that? And you can adjust it just like a regular desktop. There's your app tray. You can exit decks here. And if I connected this via USB to my monitor, I could project this to my monitor and it actually be projected correctly. Um, I don't know if iPads have fixed that, if that's coming with iOS, iPad OS 16, but it really is something that needs to happen for iPads that proper external display support if it hasn't happened already. So I will stop the review of this here. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I know this was a rant today. I'm not in a great mood. Not in a great mood, to be honest with you. This has frustrated the hell out of me. Pulling stickers off of a device. I really probably didn't want to review today. <laughs> like, if you're all sticking through this sarcasm with me, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.